Hey guys, have you ever been in a situation where you can't reset your iPhone to factory setting? Why would that happen? And how do you fix it? Keep watching this video to get the answer. Why can't you reset your iPhone to factory setting? Number one, you may not have the passcode to iPhone. For example, if you bought the iPhone from someone else, you may not know the passcode and you can't reset it. Number two, connection problem. Whether you're connecting through the network or through your USB cable to iTunes, if there's a hardware problem and the connection isn't working, you may be unable to do a factory reset. Number three, an error with iOS or iTunes. Sometimes there are just bugs that prevent you from being able to reset your phone. A useful way to reset iPhone using iMyPhone UMate Pro. iMyPhone UMate Pro is a professional software helping you erase all your iPhone iPad data and go back to factory setting. According to our customers' feedback, using UMate Pro to erase all data is even better than a factory reset because it erases the data permanently and it can't be recovered at all, not even by recovery software. With this software, you can erase files that are lingering in your storage that you thought you deleted manually erase private fragments of data that third-party apps leave behind, set your device to factory settings with 100% success rate. Let's see how it works. Step 1. Download and install iMyPhone UMate Pro on your PC and click Erase All Data on the left screen. Step 2. Tap on Erase button and type Delete to confirm your operation. Then click Erase Now. Continue. Step 3. Keep waiting for the process to finish scanning and erase, and then your iPhone's data will be all erased. It needs several minutes. Part 3. Other way you can try to reset your iPhone. Number 1. Restart your iPhone. The corresponding problems of some blocking programs may prevent the reset of the iPhone. You can try to force restart the phone to solve the problem. Number two, make sure your network connection is good. Check the network connection and make sure your Wi-Fi or mobile data is working. Number three, update iOS and iTunes. Try updating your version of iOS if there's an update available. Similarly, check for updates in iTunes if you're using iTunes to do the reset. Okay, that's it for today. If you have any problems, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll help you as soon as we can. See you next time.